Ayo Plads and Lassie's Fletcher from Ultimate Halo and Aren't all of these Halo covers just iconic? Hell, yes they are, but I'm asking a question today. And what if I replace those with the Halo Infinite Master Chief? Huh. Well. Bam, bam, bam! <laughs> Ultimate Halo. Okay, so I'm gonna make all of this quick. I don't wanna bore you with the small details, but all of the links are in the description for my Twitter. I am sharing this kind of art regularly, working on stuff and suggestions, so make sure you go follow me. And also, after I scripted this video, 343 added this artwork and much more onto the Halo Waypoint website, which is pretty incredible, and it's also shared across all of their social media channels. So that was like a really cool experience. I've had my notifications absolutely blow up for the past 12 hours, but here we go. So my first few were actually pretty straightforward before I got ambitious with them. All I wanted to do was impose Halo Infinite Chief onto this iconic existing art. So to do this, I post him in Source Filmmaker using the Fortnite Halo Infinite Chief model. I lit the scene with him so the lighting was correct and then I exported it from there and I did some Photoshop magic and I also went to do Halo 2 and Halo 4. I'd say that Halo 4 came out the best in all of these, particularly in terms of lighting, the composition was just a lot better, but the Twitter community just wanted more, so who am I to say no to that, obviously. Now, the big recommendation was Halo Combat Evolved, and I was kind of like, well, I'm hesitant to do that because the Halo Infinite cover art takes heavy inspiration from Combat Evolved, and it looks fantastic in my opinion, so there's no way I'm going to top that, is there? No, definitely not. But to do that, it is a pretty intimidating task because it's such an iconic cover. But before I took on such an iconic piece, I wanted to challenge myself. Rather than imposing Chief, I thought I'd remake something almost completely from scratch. Now what's one Halo thing that's pretty awesome but doesn't get much love? Other than me, obviously. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It's a joke. Of course, it's Halo Legends, so I wanted to try and remake this cover art here, and I wanted to give it a bit more polish. Now, now it's actually funny to think how much Halo Infinite's Chief actually pulls from the Halo Legends, the package design. I think it's a really great armor set, but I think just put a bit of Halo 3 on that, and you've got the Halo Infinite armor, and it looks fantastic. So I must say, I'm a real cowboy with my methods, but God damn it, I got the end result and that's what matters. So first, what I did was pose Chief and some weapons and with some elites under his feet to set the scene. Then we need a Covenant ship along with a Halo ring. All of this now is perspective work, as I made the ship and the ring small and set it in front of Chief, so behind the, the scene itself. And of course, if there's movement to it, it looks dumb. But if the camera's still and in the right position, you do get the right effect. Next is the Photoshop work. Now I put in a light, set up a background and used some space assets, did a bit of blending work and BAM! Job is a good one. <laughs> Fab, you less. Now, how do I tackle the most iconic Halo piece of all time? Or one of them in my opinion, because this is what started it all. Well, first of all, 343 released some of these fantastic new Halo Infinite screenshots, which I won't lie, they were very helpful. Yeah, that, that, that was a great big help. So first of all, the same as always, the perspective work, posing my models, doing the lighting. I thought Johnson needed a little bit more love, you know, because he's, well, he's, he's um, dead. Damn, I've actually got tears in my eyes. Okay, so what I actually did then was put a Halo 2 Anniversary ODST in the Warthog, which isn't posed because you don't need to see it, you just need to see the head. And this Marine also has no head, and I'm really sorry for ruining that for you. And yes, I know, before you start saying it, I know these are Halo 5 Banshees. Everybody said this on Twitter, and unfortunately, I just didn't have access to the Halo Wars 2 Banished assets. Leave me be, please, and thank you. Although I hope you do appreciate that the cockpit is open on this, which is a callback to the original artwork, which was an oversight, potentially. I'm not sure if they meant it to be that way, but here it is. <laughs> so our models are set, the scene is ready. Let's comp this thing. This one was truthfully a nightmare. In total, the PSD is one gigabyte, which is one whole gigabyte worth of pain. But hey, it was worth it because I think it came out really well and it was a really balanced piece. I would change a lot of things looking back, but hey, you live and you learn. And I, I, I learned a lot from doing this. So 
These Halo Infinite R remakes have been a really great outlet for me recently. I uh, had a lot on my plate, so it's been nice to sort of invest myself in something slightly new. But I will be releasing more of this. If you want to see more of these types of videos, I'm not sure what the demand is like. But let me know in the comments section down below, and I can maybe consider it in the future. If you want to see more Halo Infinite art, my Twitter is at FletcherUH. I would love to see some of you guys give me your thoughts and recommendations, most importantly, for Halo art that needs remaking. Once again, my name is Jack Fletcher, and I will see you next time on the one and the only Ultimate Halo. Subscribe now to Ultimate Halo for more unfreaking believable Halo content.